in our previous video the last one we deployed a single piece here now let's try to deploy more okay um, let's go back to our test data here I'm coming out this one we we'll use this guy test data okay now go back here let's change so let's change these to pieces array so now and in our test data is a set So we need to convert that to array. Why couldn't we use a set here? Because when we add those um, views into our uh, view hierarchy, there's a for each, um, for each structure um syntax like that this guy requires we cannot use it cannot use set directory so it means we will use our set in our data model right and we will convert that to array in our view side okay so for each let's see uh, okay so for each looks like that data and the content data is our pieces right pieces content okay so here we we just need piece yeah code let's do something simple now hi hello okay here we still need something like that dot self this means you will use okay missing oh missing able id yeah it's like that so this means okay we still need self I guess yes this self okay so this means you will use its own value as the ID okay let's give it a try resume yeah hello is here cool now we can <laughs> remove the hello and replace with our actual image here bye bye image so now this is the piece right this piece yeah each piece of our pieces so uh, we don't need the self now here this guy delete delete let's run it yes right and uh, let's add more pieces right ah here so let's add the the other one this will be the black bishop bishop like that okay run it cool so we can do it one by one but now can we use the real data mm. 
let's initialize our content view okay let's put our game engine here mm, yeah let's do like something like that our game here the data type is C chess game. C chess game. So now we don't need this for now. Let's close it. And uh, move it here. So now there's a compiler error here. Command B. Yeah. So we need to create our a model class here. So, mm, like we can do this see okay let's use the auto auto complete game of course enter that's our game right and maybe we can initialize this here so wow game equals C chess game then we can copy the test case thing uh, like that okay copy and put here game dot pieces equals that right and now we can put the game here let's add another one the king the black king the boss staying like that okay so now we have the game piece here so game piece so we'll pass in this guy game dot pieces right let's run it failed what's the problem missing argument uh, preview okay what is that oh so games here um, that's cr okay so that's just silence simply silence the uh, the compiler okay run it yes oh sorry that's not the the correct one mm. let's go back to our initialization here mm. This should be the guard. It's, it's like that. Okay, run it. Yes. And, uh, uh huh. I think we need a better solution for that. Okay. Um, let's write a for loop. So, I zero dot dot less than two. So 
but because we have game dot um, pc dot insert right now see chess piece for this guy we have two black and black g black and black rook so the column will be i times seven x actually is zero plus and i times seven so this one row zero and uh, image name bracket g insert uh, okay it's not happy so uh, it's coming out this for now and run it to make sure everything works oh why oh it's eight <laughs> eight now easy right make a copy of this one for the red rook so we only need to check change this to nine yes now make another copy for the this time is one Plus seven for our two knights. Like that wrong. Sorry. Six. Yeah. So when I when I is one, it will be here. When I is two, so the diff, the delta is a six. Okay. Next. Make a copy of that for the black, uh, red. For the red knight. Yes. And the uh, next one. So now it's two. This will be for the pattern right now is the bishop yes now another one can we triple click triple click yes copy and uh, paste so this one will be nine this will be red okay next one is there it's called guard oh, okay so now this one will be three and this has to be two the delta is two here and here the delta yeah one two so run it hmm nice triple grip ah okay copy and paste now red sure here will be nine run it for king we cannot use the for loop right so put it here for the king this one there's no I, so it will be just the four. And uh, it's called the black boss, okay? Run it. Yeah, and let's put the, the red boss here. And of course, this is row nine. Right, okay, run it yeah now it's time for the cannon here and here so cannon 
is called a power black power so the location will be like the column will be like same as night uh, one plus i times six and uh, the row will be two yeah here now make a copy of that copy no. so for red cannon so this will be 9 minus 2 is 7 yes finally we have 10 pounds okay so we need another for loop now and we can make a copy of that programmers are lazy so we can change this to 5 and we can remove remove that so black palm black true okay I think right true so well it's location here is the first one so okay every two cells okay so we don't need zero now this times two same thing here times two row the first one is zero one two three three and this will be four five Okay, let's run it. Yes. Yes. Except that this huge guy here, we can track it. That's our, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> but don't worry about that. We deployed all our initial, right? 32 pieces. Uh, let's put this guy somewhere for fun. <laughs> like like that okay see you next time